Hi guys, today I'm just going to show you a little project that I put together and I'll tell you about how I kind of did it and then I'll maybe do a little ride around and uh, so yeah, let's get to it. So um, originally this was a Dodge Ram 50 and this one was from the early 80s and uh, so originally it had a four cylinder in it with a five speed transmit transmission but uh, what I did is I put a Prado 212 in it and uh, so let's kind of go around so here's the choke there's a little tapped piece of metal and a vent washer and I'll kind of show you like that and it clamps onto this um, choke that runs into the inside and I drilled a little hole in that there and then it runs through there and then this was the original throttle cable that I just hooked up to the original Predator um, throttle mount and that runs inside to the pedal and that's how it was originally and then I run the I ran the pole cord through here there's a little piece of plastic so I'm cut the cord and then there's a kill switch wired there and then I put a 60 tooth sprocket on um, the transmission axle came out right there it's really hard to see but then I welded some one inch axle onto it and it was kind of hard to get it straight but I got it actually really good and I don't know how but and then there's a bearing right under this piece it's bolted right there it has those two bolts it's bolted there and then there's some collars on each side to hold it in place and um, some just different things and then there's some 40 chain and then it runs up to a clutch right there and um, I would just say when I was just researching and doing some stuff about these I noticed that no one did a torque converter so I decided to actually do that and I had it on there for quite a while but I would not go that way if it's your way if you're gonna make one or do kind of like a predator in a car or something all I had was bad luck the, predator, the torque converter just couldn't quite take all the heat and just tension and I mean there's a lot of I mean it's just I don't know there's a lot of weight in this thing and uh, it's trying to pull it around which is pretty hard but the clutch seems to do all right and do a lot better and, uh, so I would I would lean that way if, if uh, you choose to do it so yeah I took the engine out everything stripped out I tried to do a lot of this weight removal there was some hoses that came out of here and I welded the ends kind of to make caps and then you know there's different things you kind of put a bolt in the end of a hose to keep different things from going but yeah otherwise um, so I got the truck for free from a friend and uh, he had had it and it was just sitting out in the yard for a long time so he gave it to me and then um, the door panels were all bad there was actually a raccoon inside when I came and got it and, I, and uh, so yeah I put these these just plastic I got from an old shower and uh, I bolt that on with some like self tapping screws and then uh, the seat I redid and that looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with how I did that and uh, redid that <clears throat> and then so there's a five speed with reverse you can't really see that very well but yep and then it's um, so right here is where the choke runs to so that's off choke and then you can see I left the thing that says choke there and then this is on choke right here and so and then there's the kill switch there so it, it's really kind of nice so every time I turn it off when I hit the switch then I put this over back to choke so the next time I want to get in it all I have to do is pull the here I'll show it. I don't even have to open the hood all I do is pull that cord right there and then it started because it had the choke on originally and then I come in and then I take the choke off and then I go and I let it warm up a little bit of course but yeah and I uh, actually left the speedometer in there and it tells me because it's not an electronic one and uh, so yeah I think <clears throat> according to this which is probably not right I've gone almost 20 I think in this which is pretty good for what I've heard online and so yeah that's just kind of the inside of the truck and um, I'm sorry for my filming and probably there's a little wind noise but yeah thanks for watching and I'll do a little bit of driving just kind of to show you guys what it's like and so yeah I'll just do one more look at the engine and kind of the inside how I did it I welded up this engine plate 
this is the, these are the original engine mounts um, that were there and then I just welded a plate and then I welded this across and you know you can see right, right there there's a hole you know, so I can slide it the chain and stuff and uh, here's some transmission mounts I made to hold the transmission still so yeah, all right, let's get right, some drive.